Who the hell came up with Super Action News Team? Just let me think! I'm not a fan of the word action. I like everything else. Wait, yeah, did you use the one with the flare behind the name or where your name is flare? It's on top of it. Let me fucking take a look. Because the I fucked up the word action in one of the two. I couldn't it was too late for me to go back and do it again. Yeah, this is the one with it on the top. On the top, what do you mean? Like, the flames are on the top of the... They're both like that. Idiot. I meant the flare, not the flames. Oh, the flare. I thought you said flame. You thought wrong. Just mic shit out. Well, first it takes oh, a 20 is. minutes for a Windows oh, update, dude. and then we have... Uh, God, fuck, right. finally. It's gonna be like Friday. Yeah, it's gonna be like Friday. Okay, so now that my microphone is now live... What's up, guys? Welcome to the Atlee 22 podcast. We had a fuck up here. So, uh, with me today is Justin and Brandon. And welcome to the Super Action News team of Atlee 22 channel. Let's do this tonight. So, uh, shall we start off with some obscure news? Or who wants to start off with today's topics? I'll let you start off because I want to wait for people before I, before I start off. <laughs> okay. So, tonight, I've got a few obscure uh, news stories. Uh, titles to actually talk about that happened during the week since we've been gone or from the last podcast. I don't want to like actually talk about like serious news. Who gives a fuck about serious news? Come on, we want to we want to talk about the we want to talk about the funny shit. So, um, first funny topic I find, and uh, I will post a link into the chat room for anybody that would like to follow along. Uh, in Washington, Seattle, Washington. Let me post the link in here right quick. So if anybody would like to follow along, you are more than welcome to. So in Washington State, a teenager calls the police. Now let me... Now this is, this is obscure because I, call, I, I looked at it because uh, you know how teens are. They love to party. They love to be in you know, all kinds of weird things and they want to party and you know, all that kind of stuff. But this teen, however, calls the police to break up his own party. Now, you know your party is fucking getting out of hand, and you have to call the cops to break are up there tr- your Are there kid. trees on fire on the front lawn in this one? No, actually, no. actually, no. I read it. I, 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 now, I read this thing. No. Uh, Brand. I bet this... I bet what? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me speak here. I'll, I actually try to explain this thing. I read this today, and... You know, the person wanted to make the party, but then it was starting to get destruction. There were, like, teens running all over the place, destroying property. And I guess, apparently, it came out of hand, and they call, he called the police. Couldn't handle it no more. He could, I, guess he couldn't, I guess he couldn't watch up over his own party. I guess, this is not what happened. Here, here's the official news story, fucking Brandon News Channel. What happened is this dude got so fucking drunk. I mean, he got so drunk, he forgot where the fuck he was. <laughs> Next thing he goes, he's calling the cops, like, I'm in the middle of this super, like, excited party, and, like, I feel like I'm in danger. And then the cops come beat everyone with nightsticks just because this dude couldn't handle his liquor. <laughs> that's fucking Damn. Happened. But, yeah, that that's one obscure uh, news story of the day. I found that interesting because you know how kids are kind of nowadays they want to go to parties and they want to socialize but sometimes oh. but sometimes it just gets out of hand it, it just happens i think we officially have to retire because we are able to use the words kids nowadays i know we, right we, we might we might as well say fuck it and done we're done with it we gotta dye our hair gray and fucking get a cane i already have a cane i already have to walk with a cane right now. <laughs> Okay, so are we re- are any other uh, things to add for this? Any other things to add? Well, sure. now I guess the question uh, is oh. what happened at the end of the party. Did you even get arrested or beaten? There was actually several uh, teens between the ages of 15 and 20 that were arrested. Even one of them was arrested for... Uh, they were. He was actually arrested from before for underage drinking. And public so intoxication, mm-hmm. probably. Yeah. If you read the story, you'll figure that out. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty obscure. It was funny, to be honest. Such a stupid I, I know, I right? got, 
I got something for you that will uh, relate to this. Go for it. So my obscure news involves Central Michigan University, Ooh. which this coming fall they are announcing a uh, what's called a degree in fermentation science. They're literally going to have a degree where you essentially make beer on campus. Um, and it's I think it'll be the one to teach this class. <laughs> I was, I'm pointing down just because. <laughs> it's just like, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Down here. Down here. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Here for seven years. <laughs> he's he's going to be there for a while. I can see I can see Brandon doing that now. He could be paid for this shit. I am ready. <laughs> His body is ready. His body you is ready. Drink my class. You fail. <laughs> <laughs> So, random fact, as of 2013, Michigan ranked fifth in the nation in number of breweries, California being the first, Colorado yeah. being the second, Oregon, Washington is fourth. You know what's funny about that? California being the first? All California beer sucks. <laughs> oh, well. A lot of, I've tried a, f a few obscure little local Colorado brewery makes because Coors sucks. And some of the stuff I've tried, the different, uh, they love IPAs in Colorado especially up near Boulder, where University of Colorado is. Pale ale. If there's Just not wheat, there's IPAs. Um, it says here, Central Michigan builds its undergraduate program as the first in the state, specifically aimed at providing a, quote, hands-on education focused on craft beer. Hmm. Hands-on education in, in drinking. In drinking. In drinking. In you also... You also wow. uh, uh, required as part of the uh, graduation requirements is a 200-hour... 200 hour internship in a product, quote, production scale facility. They won't last that long. Or as they would, but. In a production facility. I'm about to say a few people are going to make trips <laughs> to Milwaukee. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to spend my 200 hours testing the beer. <laughs> That's okay. Give me the next bottle. I got to test this bottle too. Brandon and his students are going to be like the scene in Family Guy where they all get into the giant vat of beer and sit there naked and drink the entire vat. And then they're going to talk about uh, they're going to talk about uh, what was it, jet or something? Yeah, talk about jets and then somebody drives a forklift and, and blows up half the plant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see that happening. Driving a forklift while naked. <laughs> I don't know about getting a beer naked. Beer is sticky, and the last thing I want is sticky beer balls, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> sticky beer balls. Gross. So, so, so next week's obscure news story will be, in other news, man is found with hair tangled in forklift forks. Down there. While yeah. massively, while massively <laughs> intoxicated, and, and this girl is going, I did not have I, sex with that man. Hey, it was this I, guy. I, this guy down I, here. Yep. I need to bring back my old joke with Alan. It was uh, it was going to be a newspaper, and it was like featured the most unflattering pictures of us, like local resident. Brandon's <laughs> Damn! <laughs> All right, was found dead today. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, I'll save that one. It's more serious. Okay, I got a news story. What you guys, you guys, ready for my news story? I'm gonna read it off this paper. Go for it. It's got, it's got some music notes on it, but uh, I wrote this down. This is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. It's a pretty dark story so far, actually. Hey, what God. the f- <laughs> Oh, damn. This doesn't seem a like a story. This looks like it's a song. <laughs> I know. Are, are, did, you get your, uh, did you get your notes confused? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now, so for the real news story, looks who like here, like- Thursdays going on in Mexico. <laughs> Pretty much. Karaoke happens on Tuesdays here, and the bar has been closed. Oh, uh, are you? So, in other news, who the fuck cares about ACDC? Not me, not you, not him. Okay, no one cares about ACDC. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Young, the rhythm guitarist of ACDC, is going to be retiring after this album. I guess he finally decided his career was in shambles by playing three-note chords for every song, and he got fucking tired of it. <laughs> he, he, he when he figured it out, he was totally shocked. Here's here's the deal. Here's how you know you're doing it wrong. If you're in the biggest rock and roll band, if you're in the biggest rock and roll band on the planet at one point and you end up retiring, you fucked up your career. You should have died like in an explosion in a helicopter underwater in a tunnel in a cave. All right, that's how rock stars die. 
Eu tô em Brasília, eu tô com a minha IP. Clean my bed. Wouldn't it be either a tunnel or a cave, not both? How are you saying there's a tunnel, are you saying there's a tunnel within a cave? And so the tunnel a, itself is also a cave? There is a tunnel branching off. Right? This is a tunnel and in the middle of the tunnel there's a crack in the wall which leads to the cave. Hmm. And a helicopter fit through it. Secret underground mermaid underwater society of doom. This is how rock stars die, alright? Here's how rock stars die. This is this is how every, little mermaids? I'm curious. <laughs> this is how every good musician has ever died. I'm gonna get in the helicopter. Tell that to Kurt Cobain. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's this gun do? <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Shit. Damn, wasn't I expecting that one? <laughs> <laughs> We're not even ten minutes in this podcast, and it's already gone to hell. Already? Oh, Cobain. look, hi, Cobain. Oh, damn. All right, so I guess it, hey, Brandon, was that your? Was that the end of that? Yeah, pretty much. All right, so obscure news at number two from my end, and this one, if you'd like to follow along, here is the oh, real oops. quick note. The my obscure my obscure number two post is Art saying this is why he dates men is us. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I actually got to see this report like earlier this week, and uh, apparently police deliver pizza to this man since his delivery driver got into an accident. Yes, I am not kidding you. That is a good first, Samaritan. That is good Samaritans. Uh, in Portland, Stop. Oregon. Now, in Portland, Oregon. Oh, Oregon. Um, okay. That's basically so, Canada. You understand now. <laughs> in Portland, Oregon, a Pizza Hut delivery uh, driver got into an accident, and the police were there, you know, all the kind of things. And he was actually on, the, the driver was actually on call when he got into the accident, and the policemen that were there, since his car was probably told, um, they delivered the pizza to the guy who needed the pizza, who ordered it. Didn't want the pizza going up late now, did you? Because it was no. a life death situation. This, Pretty much, yeah. This raises, this raises so many questions. The first and foremost of which being, there is a man in an accident, and the first concern of everyone involved is whether or not some poor fat schmuck is going to get his pizza on time. <laughs> Second, <laughs> how did he figure out where to take the pizza? Was the man like on a stretcher with his last dying breath? Twenty-two for Gene Sunnydale Circle. <laughs> <laughs> no, How did the information? Br- br- Second off. No. Second off. <laughs> now listen. Uh, the thing is, with the you know, with delivery pizza delivery people. Now listen. They always have on the receipts that they have to send to people. They always have a, an address on the actual receipt. So when that accident happened and, you know, all the things were written up and his car was told, he couldn't m- finish the delivery. So the policeman took the pizza box with the receipt and they drove to the area where the receipt was and they delivered it. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's Canada. That's Oregon. Oregon is part of Canada for all I care. If this should happen in, like, Texas, they'd be like, oh, look, free pizza. Oh, fuck this dying, dude. And then they take the number on the receipt and go there and beat it instead. Like, like, that's exactly how the story would play out. Like, mm-hmm. like you want your pizza, huh? Fucking nightstick, nightstick, nightstick teaser. This sounds like South Florida, not Texas. <laughs> Damn. All right, so... What, what um, is this, an episode of CSI Miami? What the fuck? Wouldn't surprise me at all. <laughs> uh, by the way, Tiger Thomas uh, said, Hey, Lee, can I say I'm sorry? No! You cannot apologize to Jeff. You apologize to me, and I have to file it I have to do the paperwork, it has to go up the ladder, and Jeff eventually will review my review whether or not he can see your comment, and then if he does that, I'll have to take your comment by helicopter, fucking that seven different approval forms right the fuck there, and I can deliver it to Jeff's secretary, who will then <laughs> tell me to fuck myself if Jeff's in a meeting. No, you cannot apologize to Jeff. <laughs> in, other, in other words, this entire process he just described takes 30 minutes. 30 minutes, pretty much, yes. 
Okay, Jeff so, Severs is a lazy bitch. I will give him that. <laughs> I'm about to say the longest part of this process is the secretary blowing Brandon to get admission through the door to Jeff's what? executive office. Really? really? The, secretary, the secretary 